welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do my March favorites. Let's get started. First product up is something that I actually do not like to stray from because once I find a mascara I like, I kind of stick with it. I do not like to try new mascaras at all. I had stuck with the Too Faced Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara since the day it came out and I'm obsessed with it. So that's my go-to mascara. That's one, the one that worked for me. It didn't smear. It didn't leave any type of black residue under my eyes. So when I decided to try something new, I don't know what I was thinking, but I went out on a limb and I decided to try the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Volume Mascara. And it looks like this. Now, what I didn't like about it originally before I bought it was the fact that it wasn't waterproof. I wear a super creamy... Um, hydrating under eye concealer and mascara tends to get stuck right under there occasionally so with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara it did not do that. Um, I had a friend that said let's try it let's get it so I was like you know what I'm gonna go out on a limb and here we go so this is what the brush looks like my first use I actually did not like it at all I put it on I was like what is this I don't know what I did, I don't know why I branched out, this is why I don't branch out, like there were so many things that were going on through my mind, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep wearing it, I wore it for a week and it grew on me. Now the difference in this and that is, this definitely I feel like lengthened your mascara, your lashes, to me it doesn't make them as full as the Too Faced mascara, but I still like it, um, the formula is really good, it's not thick, it's not sticky, um, and it is a really, really, really dark black, which I do like. And so, um, it's 26 bucks. I like the packaging. I like the product. So it is definitely one of my March favorites. And also kudos to me because I actually tried a new mascara. So if you guys have tried this, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. So next up is going to be, I went on a little bit of a Bath & Body Works spree. Now, Bath & Body Works apparently has totally stepped up. Has to Sorry, I got a text. What? Okay. So, Bath & Body Works has totally stepped up their game. Um, they are repackaging, kind of rebranding, if you will. And I think it's fantastic. I think their products, their packaging looks a little more sleek than normal. And it looks good sitting on the dresser. So, something that I kind of went a little crazy and got was when they had their candle sale, I went absolutely crazy. Um... I think they did the big sale because they are repackaging their candles because I went in two weeks ago and saw that the candles looked almost completely different. So um, this is, I think it is my favorite candle of all time. It's called Bath & Body Works Maple Cinnamon Pancake Scented Candle. Looks like this. Now the packaging is really like Christmassy and you can actually turn it this way. You know, if you don't like the, the look, you can just do it like that. But Ugh, it smells so good. It literally smells like if you go into like an IHOP and like there's maple syrup everywhere. It smells absolutely amazing. Maple cinnamon pancakes. You can even leave it open. It's the um, the three wick candles. You can actually just and I've burned this probably twice, but that's how long I've left it burning. And my entire house smelled like pancakes for like two weeks. So um, this particular one is is awesome. You can leave it open and it'll still like you can still smell it all over the house. So. Go in there and get yourself a Bath & Body Works candle. You will not be disappointed. And I think this retail, I think they retail for like $25, but they had them, I think they even had them 75% off. I think I got this for like nine bucks. It's amazing. So um, hit them up when they're doing their sale for sure. Next up on the Bath & Body Works train, I went in there two weeks ago and they had a couple new products out. Uh, the Coco Shea Honey Ultra Conditioning Sugar Scrub. Cocoa, cocoa butter, shea butter, and pure honey. Oh my god, who is blowing me up? So, this product specifically, I needed something that's going to be hydrating, that's going to kind of help get off the dead skin, because I wanted to self-tan. I think I was wishful thinking, wishing for summer, wishing for spring, wanting to get a little bit of color on me, so I was like, I need a new good sugar scrub, and this is the one I think I found my summer scrub and it's very hydrating. I do want to get my skin very hydrated for the summer um, because I have started doing my self tanner and so everybody knows that self tans you got to get off all the dead skin first so I would highly recommend this. Um, you can keep it in the shower, use it in the shower, just kind of scrub. I use it everywhere. It's absolutely amazing and it does help my, um, my self tanner go on really smooth and streak free. 
So next up, um, I decided to get the Coco Shea Coconut Lightweight Body Oil. I believe this retails, I think this one was $14.50 and this one is $16.50. This one is 24 hour moisture. Now, a little bit goes a long way and I wanted to get a body oil because I was kind of tired of using lotions. I have so many lotions and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try body oil and see how that works and to my surprise, I really, really liked it. Um, and it smells so good and it lasts all day. I don't feel like I have to reapply to my arms like my lotion once I put this body oil on after the shower It's there and it's nice and hydrated and I feel like it does actually make my self tanner last a little bit longer. So Yay to Bath and Body Works Another fun thing I got at Bath and Body Works over the holidays <laughs> was this um, It's called like What is it called? Um I think the term is mist sleeve and you actually, oops, you actually can hide your body spray in this. It looks so cute on the dresser. Just, you know, sits there and looks all nice and shiny. They have different colors. They have gold, which I really think I want to get as well. And um, yeah, it's really just an accessory for your body mist, which is crazy. And this particular spray is called Wrapped in Sugar. I believe this retails for $16.50 and I think this spray is $14.50. But you can get them on sale for like buy two, get one free, buy three, get one, whatever. Find the sale and I think this might be included in the sale as well. So yeah, it, again, it's not a necessity, but it's super cute on the dresser. So I need to get another one. Next up is the, it's called Coconut Oil Hydrating Oil Mist. And it's by um, OGX, which I think is Organics. And you can get this at any drugstore, CVS, you know, um, Walgreens, whatever. You can even get it in the grocery store. This is great for dry hair. My hair gets extremely dry in the winter. It gets like wind damage. And I needed something that was gonna give my hair a shine because it was losing, you know, its shine. Because my hair is so bleached and damaged, I needed something that wasn't gonna weigh it down and something that wasn't super expensive. I found this to work really good. A little bit goes a long way. Um, and it actually, I think it's gonna work really well in the summer too. When you go to the beach, when you get, you know, chlorine in your hair, I think this is going to help keep it a little bit shinier. And it smells like coconuts and it reminds me of the beach. So, one of my favorites. Next up, and again, it's wishful thinking because I'm so ready for summer and spring. I just cannot, cannot stand it anymore. So, because I'm a self-tanning addict, um, I decided to try the Fake Bake tanning butter for dry skin. Again, with the dry skin, I'm super dry on my body anyways. I'm really not that dry on my face, just on my body. So it looks like this. And I think this retails for $22, but I got it on sale, I think for like $8 at a beauty supply store. And it looks like this. Now it looks super red. When I got it, I'm not going to lie, I was really nervous about, about putting it on. I was like, I'm going to look like I have red paint all over me. So I decided to do what everybody does at self tans, which I I didn't refuse to buy, but it's something that I never really ventured out and tried. It's going to be the self tanning mitt. It actually smells really good, like self tanner. Um, so weird that I like that smell. It's um it, it was the fake bake mitt. I just keep it in here just because I don't want it to get like dirty in my drawer or whatever. Um, and it's made out of like I think it's like a terry cloth. I don't really know what this and you just put it on and you you know, rub in circular motions, and of course, you can see I got it all over there. But, um, yeah, I absolutely will say this is a game changer in the self-tanning. I think you can even use it with the clear sprays, um, spray tan lotion. But let me tell you what, I will never again not use self-tanner without a mitt. It also, too, doesn't ruin your hands and your nails. So if you've just got your nails done and you don't want to ruin them, by all means, use a self-tanning mitt. So I will say, love, love, love this. I actually stocked up and got a couple of them, so I'm all set for the summer. Um, let me know what you guys think if you guys have ever used a self tanning mitt before, but I absolutely love it. So next up on the list is going to be another skincare product. It's called Nip Fab Skin, and it's uh, called Glycolic Fix. Now what it is is it's a pad you rub all over your skin, and it actually helps to kind of slough off um, dead skin and things like that. Uh, my skin I noticed was super dry. And it was very texturized, I guess because the winter, because it was cold and because I wasn't, I mean, I was hydrating, but you can only put so much hydration on your skin that, you know, and it's still not going to get like hydrated because you have that layer of dead skin on there. So 
I found this and I saw some reviews on it. It was really good and I surprisingly actually really do like it. I use it every day and incorporate it into my normal skin routine and I've noticed an actual big difference. So um, yeah, it's the Nip Fab Skin and I think these retail for $15 and you get 60 pads and the smell is actually, it doesn't, it just has like a really clean smell. So really do like these and the brand, the packaging is super cute. Looks kind of sleek, you know. Next up on the list is, it's kind of goes with the theme of me being ready for summer. So I am really weird about I'm um, spending a bunch of money on sunglasses because I lose them, I drop them, I scratch them, I just throw them in my purse and I'm ready to go. So I've never really spent a lot of money on sunglasses. However, I decided to treat myself to some Costa Del Mar sunglasses. Now I don't know if you guys know what Costa Del Mar is. It's a sunglass company. They've been around for a while and they're super popular in the south more so than they are up here on the east coast. So these sunglasses are really popular if you are a fisherman and um, they're just really popular in the fishing community and they allow you to see depth. Uh, they protect your eyes. They're just all around awesome sunglasses and I really do like them. So uh, these are and my favorites because I've had them now for about a month and I absolutely love them. Um, when I look, I can see depth and I, I know that sounds really weird, but it actually does, you can tell a huge difference between like a cheap pair of sunglasses and a, you know, this specific technology that Costa Del Mar uses. So I would highly recommend it. My husband has a pair, he's had a pair forever. He loves them and um, I highly recommend it. I will be taking very good care of these sunglasses. These retail for $169, and these I think are ladies, and they're called um, Blenny. They all have the name, kind of like a like nautical name. They, some of them are named after like fish or whatnot, but um, yeah, if you guys have Costas or have ever worn Costas or like Costas, please let me know because I, I love them. Costa has like, it's almost like a cult following. Um, they have t-shirts and hats and stuff like that, but it's, I feel like it's, I don't want to say it's a southern company because it's like, I don't think it is. I don't think they might, I think they might be based out of Florida, so maybe they are southern, but um, it's like, I feel like more people in the south wear and know about Costa Del Mar. So, yes, I'm obsessed with these and I can't wait to wear them all summer long. So next on the list is one of my favorite bronzers. Now this bronzer is super inexpensive. You can get it at any drugstore. And the reason I like it is because you get a, a it's big and it's like $5. Um, this right here is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket. It's called Ticket to Brazil is the actual name of the bronzer color. The reason I love this, I got this probably a week and a half ago. Um, and I've had, I've been buying this for years and it's huge. Like it's absolutely huge. You can, you can, you know, rub it on your, your neck, your decollete, your arms, whatever. Um, you can use it for contouring if you want to. Um, if you lose it, drop it, break it, it's $5. So, um, I got this on sale. I really want to say I got it. I had a coupon. I think I got it on sale for $2.99, $1.99. I'm not sure. It was, it was pretty much almost free. Uh, the one thing I don't like about it is the, the logo wears off very quickly. And like I said, I just got it, but it, that's, that's minor. Who cares? Um, but yeah, and there's a, there's two other colors I think as well. I think one might be darker. This might be the middle color, but, um, yeah, for wet and wild, I think this is amazing. Love it. One of my summer favorites, but it's actually in my March favorite because I'm secretly wishing I was on a beach right now in the warm weather because it's snowing outside and there's a freaking snowstorm. Anyways, next up on my list and it is for my chapped lips because apparently, obviously I'm super dry. Everyone gets dry lips in the winter. Um, this is one of my favorite companies and it's called Savannah Bee Company. When I lived in Savannah, Georgia, this um, company I think had just started when I, when I moved there or when I was living there. They had just, um, they were very new and I went in there one day and they had, you know, they, had, they, have, they have honey and they have, um, they had like cheese and stuff like that and then they branched out and they have, I think they even have skincare products now and they branched out and they have um, these chapsticks and this one is in peach and let me tell you it's all natural I absolutely love it it's made out of beeswax and lip balm mixed together and they have different scents um they have one called mint julep that I, mint julep that i absolutely love and the packaging is really cute too and they actually sell these in some targets i found um a package at christmas that had savannah bee company and i, I was so happy to see that 
all the way up in DC that Savannah B Company has their products in a Target as well. I think that's so awesome. But um, you can order it off their website. I think it's savannahbcompany.com. And 100% their honey is amazing. They're, it's great for gifts. So like, if you're looking for a unique gift to get somebody, um, that would be the place to go because like it's not sold everywhere. Again, the only thing I saw that Target sold by them were the the chapsticks. Um, it was in the the beauty area. So um, yeah, SavannahBeeCompany.com or Google Savannah Bee Company and look at all their fun products because and the store itself is super cute. If you're ever in Savannah, go visit it. It's an amazing place. Um, so yeah, those were my March favorites. I would love to know some of yours. I would love to know your thoughts and comments on any of these products that I have shown you. If you guys have used them, if you like it, if you don't. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!